What's up everyone? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Maya. If I like it and that's what I get, yeah. I want it, I got it, I want it. In today's video, I am bringing you why I don't care about other people's opinions, why they don't phase me, why they don't matter to me, why I just live life not caring basically. So this is actually part two to my last video where I talked about why I quit social media. It will be linked up right here and you guys can go watch that first and then come back and click on this one. So the first thing, maybe the biggest thing, it's none of my business how other people feel about me. I can't control it. I can't force someone to feel a certain way about me. All I can do is control myself, control my actions, make sure that I'm a kind person, make sure I'm treating people with respect, and just hope that they treat me the same way back. But at the end of the day, it is none of my business. Like you can't go through life just sitting here like, oh my God, how does this person feel about me? How does that person feel about me? And then sitting here and dwelling on the facts. Like people are not always going to love you or like you and that is perfectly fine. And I'm cool with that. Like that's good. I know I'm not for everyone, but it's really none of my business what other people's opinions are of me because I can't control that. Next. Most people don't know you personally, so why would you take it personally? This has been the biggest thing that I've learned and had to like accept most of the time what someone thinks about you or their opinions or whatever. It's based on small encounters, what they heard from other people or what they see on social media. Are any of those things you? No. Are any of those things a direct reflection of who you are? No. Their direct experience with you might not be exactly who you are. You might have caught them on a bad day. You might have been in a mood. You might have been upset or stressed or whatever the case may be. If they don't know you personally, why would you take it personally? They, they don't know you. It's just an opinion that they made up in their head that doesn't actually have to do with anything about who you actually are. You know, unless it's like a family member or a really close friend, like someone that you are personally really good with, I trust those opinions. I take those opinions into consideration. But if you don't actually know me personally, really not caring because you don't know me. Going back to what I kind of just said, but you have to accept and understand that some people might have a bad experience with you. And that is just what it is. It always is what it is. Like I said, I'm not for everyone. You're not for everyone. Not every single person is going to love you. And it is so toxic and actually like really harmful to yourself if you go through life making sure everyone likes you and wanting everyone to like you because that's just never going to happen. You're always going to run into someone who doesn't like you or love you or agree with what you're doing and you can't let that stop you. That's like one of those things where it's like they don't know you personally, don't take it personally. Like there's not too much to it, just those are the facts. Something else that I feel like is really important to understand is that Everyone is entitled to their opinions. Now, I'm not saying that's not a fact. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. You can feel how you feel, you can like what you like, whatever. Everyone's entitled to it. But if someone's only experiences with you are off of he said, she said, or off of social media, or off of like a small encounter, that is not enough tangible facts and evidence to create an opinion of someone. No matter what you've heard, no matter what you see, if you don't actually know this person and you're just putting your opinion in, you're putting your two cents in, like, You don't have anything behind it. I just keep harping on the idea that people's opinions are normally formed when they don't even know a person. And I think that's just really important to know because if you know yourself, if you love yourself, if you're confident in what you've done, if you know that you were nice or you know you put your best foot forward, what are you to worry about what other people are thinking? Like it just doesn't really correspond. So like I said in that social media video, I didn't just overnight wake up one day and be like, I'm not going on social media anymore. It was like a little process and I feel like this kind of happened in high school. I just woke up one day and I was like, none of this really matters like at all. And I think high school, it was a lot easier for me to like cope with and understand because I knew I was leaving New York for college. Like even if it wasn't Howard that I was going to, I knew I was leaving for college. I knew I probably wasn't going to see many of these people again in my life or speak to them or anything. And I was fine with that. No offense to my high school people if you're watching this, but you know, that was just the reality of it. So it was kind of a lot easier for me to be like, these people aren't even going to know me in five years or they're going to know me, but they're not going to know me. You know what I mean? They're going to be like, oh yeah, like we went to high school together, but that's it. And it's the same for me to them. Like I'm not just sitting here like, oh, well with me, like I don't talk to people from high school, but it's the same way. I don't really know anyone that I went to high school with anymore. I really don't have anything to say because the opinions that I have are from two years ago, a year ago, I don't know, I don't do math. It's just that idea that like, I don't know enough to form an opinion, so my opinion is based on who they were a year, two years ago. Like that's not, that's not cool. That's not something I would actually talk about. So I don't know, I feel like the entire 
thing of not really caring about opinions and just kind of letting go is something that not everyone is going to get to in their life or I don't want to say mature to because I don't necessarily feel like this is me being mature I feel like it's just my personality like it's just like confident in me I don't really need to know what you think like constructive criticism of course great but if you don't personally know me like I'm really not taking it personally same thing with like YouTube videos if you guys go back to some of my older videos there are lots of comments of people being so rude and mean to me and I'm like you don't actually know me like I posted an eight minute video and yeah I might have looked like a fool I was 16 like yeah I didn't actually know what I was talking about or doing but like you don't actually know me enough to form this full opinion that I do this this and this like so I don't take it to heart, I don't take it seriously. And if for some reason my current videos ever turn into a place like that, like just know it's okay guys. Don't like fight for me in these comments, like it's fine. I'm not worried about this. These people don't know me personally. But like I was saying, it for sure is a process and I'm sure not everyone is gonna get to this little point in their life, but I don't know. I'm really happy ever since I've come to this conclusion and life has just gotten so much easier. I feel like I lost it for a little bit, but I'm back at it, I'm back feeling good, I'm back not really caring, just I do what makes me happy. There's always that quote that's like, do whatever you want because people are going to talk about you anyway. And it's true. Whatever you do, everyone's going to form an opinion in some way, shape, or form. It's just a matter of if you're going to care about it or not or if you're going to take it to heart or not. And I promise you, when you don't take things personally, life gets so much easier because 99.9% .9 of the time, people are actually facing like inside problems that are causing them to act out or act that way to you. That's also something I've really learned. Like people treat you how they feel about themselves. If you respect yourself, if you love yourself, you're not gonna go be outwardly mean to someone. But if you're insecure, if you're like, oh my God, like I look terrible today. Like you might go off and put those insecurities onto someone else. And that happens so often, like relationships, friendships, just I've seen it happen a lot. And I feel like it's something I've learned. Like most of the time people are just pushing their problems on you it's not actually you so but that's a whole other topic that we don't have to get into right now but yeah that is going to be the end of this video so make sure you guys leave me a comment down below how you feel about opinions do you take them to heart do you wish you didn't do you wish you cared more about them you know let me know down below also let me know if you guys like these type of videos because they're a little different than what i've been posting but if you like them i'll for sure sit down and talk about more real things um all my socials will be right here on the screen as well as in the description box down below i post every tuesday thursday and sunday at 12 o'clock and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any uploads but before you leave watch the rest of my videos. They're good. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.